Hello everybody, welcome back to Jeff's Computer Service on YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you guys on how to set up and configure Jellyfin server on Windows. Well, I'll, I will be making two videos about this. This is the first one for Windows and I'll make another one for Linux. So let's go ahead and get started. The best way I would recommend installing this program would be making a virtual machine. Why? Because in this case, the server is going to be focused on the resources that you've given it on the virtual machine. That way, it will not use your other machine's sources. So um, mostly this is just to pre prevent any slowdowns or different, or different random crashes overall. So my recommendation, making a virtual machine separate with its own uh, cores, RAM, all separate to to get the best performance out of it. So this is the site. So we're just gonna download the server. Click here on Jellyfin. I'll be having this in the description. Now let's just pick on Windows. The official. Just download that. In our case, this is a AMD sixty four. Click that one. Fin, we want the executable. I'm just gonna wait for this to finish. Once that's done, basically, it's just a plug and play on this part. Now, what we need to do from here is basically we're gonna just open this up, just run it. Give that a few seconds. Yes. Click next. Agree. We can leave this as basic. Click next. Keep going. Then again, install. Now we're just going to wait for that to finish. Let's give that a few seconds. Close. Now on the right side down in your taskbar, you should see here Jellyfin server. If it's not here already, then it might be here in the icon. Click the desktop. Okay, there it's activated. Now from here you can see the icon. Just right click it. It's already an auto start and it's starting. You're gonna open open it up. And obviously, this is gonna pop up. This allow assets in case you wanna do remote access on it. Now, from here, just open this up. It's gonna open the web UI. Now, this is the setup. We're gonna keep it English. That's for confirm it. I'm gonna leave the username. That's my name. Oops. Next. Don't save. And now we are going to add our media li library. I do have already here set up a partition here for the movie to get the example. But if you also want to set it up with a map, with a map, as in an SMB drive. I, I do have another video for that. Check in my description. Now we're just going to connect this drive in our media library. Just add that here. The content, since it's a movie, I'm going to add movie. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change, I'm going to leave the display name as default movies. Not really that specific. Now here's where you add the folder. In our case, it's the M drive. And that's it. We just click OK. Now, it should already locate this movie. This is the end. Everything here, we can change it to a preferred language. 
I'm not gonna touch this now. You can just change it to preferred language. You can make it to a collection if you want. Automatically, I actually like this, so yes. Everything else you can just leave it the same. If you want, you can also, this is optional as well. You can save the artwork that is placed at the video because it basically up the stage every time. From here, you can just leave everything the same. Click OK. And there it is. Now, just click Next. Leave it default, or if you're in a different country, just change it. Next. If you want remote access to this, leave this check. This, I don't actually recommend that. Keep this default off. And we're done. To finish, now we just log in with the user that we made, in this case, our name. Now the password. And there's the movie. So now we just go click out and open it up. And sure already start. And there it is. Oh god. Okay. So that part is done. Now say that you want to access this on the phone. So basically, if you notice up here at top, it says local holes to Two dots, 8096. 8096 is the port number. In this case, Jellyfin uses the, the, the default port number 8096. Now, say if you want to use this on the phone, how would you access this? Well, I'm going to leave here up top on the right side of the video on a photo of what you need to put once you go to the phone. So, basically, back on the computer here, you will need to put the IP address of your computer and that would be the server IP address when you're asked to log in so go open run type cmd type in ipconfig and find your IP address in our case our IP address is 192.168.139 you put this on the server you put this number so basically you're just gonna do it like this you open your tab put that there if you put it without anything it's not gonna work it's just gonna stay there and says unable to connect so you need to every time you need to put the port number 8096 my mistake okay I put it as secure it doesn't support secure there. You need to take up the S from the H. Now we can see this login here. Same thing. There you have it. Now, what I would do here now is I would actually change the IP to static. So, to a boy, let's say you're trying to watch the TV again on your phone using the Jellyfin app and for some reason it doesn't connect so that could be because the IP address change so to avoid that we can just go ahead and into our internet settings here says open network internet change the adapter we can just change it from dynamic every time changing to a static connection so right find your internet go to properties I always like to disable IPv4, it's a little bit confusing at least for me. Now go back here to the IPv4, go to properties. Here you're going to put the IP address. In my case, the router is a 19, the router IP address pool is 192.168.1. That one, that's the gateway of the router here. So I'm gonna put, and uh, I'm gonna choose from the IP pool number t number twelve. Some the mess stays the same. Now the gateway, which is would be the router, it's dead. Okay, if it doesn't have a gateway, it's not gonna have internet. 
Uh, the NS. Let's just shoot the pu public ones here, just for the example. Those are Google and Cloudflare. Click OK on that. Validate it. Get that a few seconds. There's no network. And there we go. Change back. So if we go back to the CMD, now there's our IP. Now if you want to access this, this now, obviously, it needs to be with the new one. 12. Port 8096. And there it is. Now when you go on your phone, you're going to put that IP address with the port number. And you're basically done. Okay, guys. Well, that's basically it for the tutorial. I hope you guys found it easy. Or maybe if you found it a little bit difficult if, or have any concerns and, and what doesn't work or what you would like to see next. Please leave a comment below. If you still have any issues, again, please leave a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. As always, guys, have a good one.